Welcome to the Team Battle Jungle Jarvan video. Right off the bat, I went uh, with my Amumu Masteries and my Zinzao Runes. I intended to be more offensive this one, the DPS Jarvan. However, my teammates really didn't compliment that, so I ended up going tank, as you'll see in this video. Anyhow, this is the team lineup, and it's pretty balanced on both sides. However, both sides kind of don't have any true initiation. You'll notice right off the bat that this is Fraps recorded, no more low no replay. This is actually a four man pre made. Our Renekton isn't, you know, paying attention or oh caring about team composition, so he picked first insta locked Renekton. I know the guy, I fought him before, and I will call him out. He's a complete idiot. So, I already know I'm gonna have to carry his ass. Anyways, I intend. To start off with my blue and getting a good leash, me, good man leash. We actually do have an AP Terra going mid because our Jax didn't take the right runes and the Renekton pretty much screw said fuck you to the team. Anyways, I'm gonna take a standard clear path, Demacia. going from now my blue to the top uh, of my jungle, just one straight flush. Anyways, I did raid Jungle Jarvan pretty well when he came out. I had him tier 3 for a while. I did say his stats as a jungler are pretty pretty average to above average. There wasn't really anything impressive of him. However, as time progressed and yes, Dreamhack kinda showed me that Jungle Jarvan is pretty badass, I got I kind of convinced myself to try him out even more. And I kept using him and trying him and you know, just getting a feel for him and I really like how he jungles. He's very versatile, and he's pretty strong in his ganks. And numerous, he can pull off numerous ganks. And he's already a valuable asset just because he's a tanky guy. He's an initiator. He has a good amount of CC. And like, if you you can build him DPS, and you can build him tank, and he'll still work out. He's he's pretty good. He's got lots of versatility, and I love versatility in my characters. I don't like being tethered down to one build. Anyhow, I did start off with cloth armor plus five Gatorades because honestly, if there's one weakness he has is he doesn't have much room to improvise his build order. He kind of is stuck just going cloth armor and potions, or you could throw in a ward there instead of a couple of potions. But I, I don't think it's gonna be necessary, and I rather just be safe. I'm I'm gonna use my potions and I'm gonna end up uh, having to buy more. So because of the nature of Jarvis Jungle, he has no innate lifesteal. He's got damage and CC, but no uh, health sustainability. Anyways, I noticed my mid laner is getting pretty crushed, so I'm not gonna bother with red. I used to smite on the small golems and I'm immediately just gonna lay off some pressure from him. I probably can't get a gank in, but I just want her to back the hell off. That's kinda what I did, I just scared her. But then watch this. My Tarek is gonna gain some mana back, I gave him some time to breathe, and I'm pretty sure he knows I want to kill this Oriana and we can, so I make an entire loop around and go from behind. But now watch how this gank is conducted. I do not blow my CC right off the bat. He uses his, I get a free shot and a couple hits on her, then I use my CC. I get more free hits on her than I would have if I had just immediately used my CC. And with that, I guarantee myself first blood. And every jungler knows if they get first blood, it's such a great feeling because you can either rush an assortment of items, boots, wards, components for some other item, uh, maybe a gold for five, and or best of all, just get a Madrid's razor. Or a lantern in some cases. Just get a Madrid's and your jungling is incredibly sped up. Level 4 with a Madrid's award and a couple potions. I'm gonna annihilate my lizard and be able to gank again if I want. Anyways, some people commented on my headset on the other video. Uh, like, uh, Stonewall, why does it always catch you breathing? No because, I don't know, I need to breathe or I die? Like, uh, I don't know, my mic isn't the best thing ever and it kind of catches other sounds. Like, it catches the sound of uh, the speakers when somebody sends me a message or invite. And the, hell, in the very beginning of this video, you can hear a car honking from outside my house. This thing is pretty sensitive and will catch almost anything. And if I don't allow it to be sensitive, people will complain, Hey Stonewall, I can't hear a word you say. 
So, might as well just, you know, deal with it. It doesn't really matter. Find Besides, I do have lung foes. problems. Anyways, I give a Renekton award. He's the lowest CS, and he's pretty much beat up. Like, I can't gank Kale, so I just say, you know what, I'm leaving. I'm going back to my jungle, oh my I'm going to do my own thing. And maybe I can kill Rihanna, but the things would change. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Anyways, I'm just going to annihilate my raids. Good experience, I'm getting pretty high level. I'm almost going to get achieve my ultimate, and that's going to open a whole new you know, ability in the jungle. Terry goes in for the kill, but has, just doesn't have enough DPS to kill her. This is where we give chase, and <laughs> Tarek is just like wanting to kill her. I think he screwed up his pathing there and couldn't get it in. Stuns her, even then not enough DPS, and I just take the kill. Now I notice bottom is pushed out to our turret. This is a perfect opportunity, especially since I just got my ultimate. I'm pretty low on mana, so I won't be able to do the entire combo. And the minions are just about to pass, so I'm going to wait for them so they can't really see me coming from behind. I also wait for my jacks to get in position. And I'm just going to run in there, look at them. They open up on my Morgana, opening up the CCs and abilities, and this is the perfect chance I get. I go on top of the Leona, she activates Summoner Spell, uh, Udyr manages to stop me, I have no mana to do anything, but they've blown all their Summoner Spells, or Udyr's gonna blow it right now. Either way, they have no more Summoner Spells, and I give the lane to my teammates, however, if I want to, I can probably come back and just kill them anyways. Top literally is losing his lane, like, uh, he's under leveled, under farmed, and I guess a Kale, that's a really bad thing, especially <laughs> especially later for a team, if that Kale gets farmed, she can do some damage. If you notice the Red Necton, it's just farming nothing, and I have no idea what he's doing. Like, throughout this, the course of the game, I just watch him and I'm just wondering, is this guy on drugs? Like, is this guy taking, like, lessons from 200 ELO players? I fought him before and he's embarrassed himself. So, I almost wanted a Q dodge, but I don't want to disappoint my teammates, because they're cool people. Anyways, I make an entire loop. I think I can kill the Orianna, she's pretty weak and Tarek's a badass with that stun. I walk in there and she's just, you know, not enough. She just, just flashes. I'm pretty sure Nocturne was going to jump on us right now, if we had committed. Which would probably have resulted in his death. And probably the Orianna's death if she decided to come back in. I go in and check his wraiths. Oh, he was doing his wraiths. Stand and, with me, like, I just walk sisters. around in a circle, I guess. He hasn't done his red. That's a good sign for me. And that means the Nocturne is, doesn't have his full ganking potential. No Given that, the Bottom once more didn't learn their lesson and overextended. I go all the way from behind, and of course their minions spot me, and I just go in. They have no summoner escapes, and Morgana catches all of them, and I close them in with my Demacia ultimate. Easy kill for us, they're dead. They had no chance in hell of escaping this. Anyways, we just conquered bottom. It Dragon is free for us. I'm basically full health, I have blue, I can tank the thing forever. And we have Jax, Jax murders Dragon. Dragon's free! Let's do this! Bottom, of course, is you know having issues. Nocturne could probably come down here and give us some trouble, but he'll probably die just as fast as he came here. So this is a free dragon. We have massive lead. Bottom has good kills, has lane advantage. I am ahead of everybody in terms of levels, and I'm pretty high up on the farm. However, our no Renekton isn't going to accomplish anything, and is going to end up probably just sucking and dying. Like, uh, he has the least CS in the entire goddamn game. Like, I have no idea. And there he just died. Like, he, <laughs> he literally just stood there and kept farming air and died. This is one of the things I hate a lot when I jungle. It's that if there's a lane that is very, very much just screwed over, 
is you have to help Stand them out. Me, Bottom needs, sisters. you know, the help. Here we pick up an easy kill on Oriana, and like is you just walk in and kill her. However, Nocturne is just gonna like jump at us, and I'm like, oh crap! I think he was gonna jump into the turret, but no, he's actually here. Don't know how he thought he could reach me with that rank one ultimate from his turret. I mean, from his own turret. He almost kills me. Like uh, Tarek basically tanks him for me. I managed to run away, and th they probably would die of me right now. The enemy team is gonna show up, and I'm just like running for my life. Renekton shows up, and he's almost gonna die again because he is the smartest Renekton in the world, and he knows what he is doing. Anyways, I survived. I have a good lead. I haven't given them my bounty. I get two gold per five, I mean gold per, gold per whatever items. Heart of gold and philosopher's stone. Buy Who some ward and some couple more will. potions. Like as I was saying, this is what I hate when I jungle. If a lane is losing so badly, they'll continue to lose even if you help them, but you have no choice but to help them anyways. Yeah, cause things are just gonna get worse and worse. So I'm gonna go get my red, and I'm gonna go like help Today out this Renekton in some way. Hopefully, I can like just give him a lead, give him a kill, or help him restore the lane. I don't think it's gonna be possible, but like he's not gonna stop bitching until I do. Anyways, I get my red, and I just and I'm gonna get my small golems. I I think his ward is running out. I don't know what I do with my ward. But I'm gonna try to gain KO. It's kind of mission impossible. Because she's got high health, she's got her in invisibility ult, and I just don't have the damage or CC, and she could probably kill me. Like, Renekton, uh, whatever he did, and he failed. We almost kill her, I trap her in there, and I kind of lock my teammate out. Protect the faithful. Uh, like I just run away and Renekton circles in for some reason and wastes his abilities and almost gets killed. But it's okay, he's the number one Renekton. Anyways, that entire thing was a failure. Kao is massively hurt, but she's Kao, she's gonna heal anyways. I'm certain this Renekton's gonna die sometime soon, so I leave. I heal myself up, just restock, basically. I, I'm i telling my teammate that this Renekton is a complete dumbass and I hope we never play with him again and that he may will. he probably should die in a fire and he probably should never be allowed to touch a keyboard again in fact I'm pretty sure given how he is he would play this game even without a keyboard he would probably click his abilities with the mouse randomly aim somewhere and probably miss anyways I'm pretty sure he is bad enough to miss targeted abilities. Somehow, he probably can miss that. Pretty sure he can miss Annie's Q somehow. Anyways, I grab blue and I run around in a circle. Mid is open, I gotta protect it and I'm just gonna take the experience from there. Unfortunately, this is another thing about that I don't like much about junglers. Oh, that's a good thing. Our bottom guy just got... Bottom, uh, bottom just got their turret. When I'm forced to take care of a lane, and I'm not told what the mid laner is intending. In this case, he's gonna just start roaming around in the circles while I defend his lane. I'm fighting Ball Girl, and uh, my Jax, like I, I didn't even notice he was coming, he was being chased by Nocturne, and probably would have died if I wasn't there for him to leap on. Anyways, back to the battle with Ball Girl. It's kind of a fruitless thing. Like, she can probably throw me off. I'm pretty sure she still has her summoner spells, so I'm not committing to a fight yet. I'm um, double buff and could probably kill her, but uh, again, she's just gonna escape. Her damage is not to be underestimated, and I don't have any resistances yet. So, yeah, she's starting to hurt me pretty badly. I'm hoping she makes a mistake or my mid laner comes down. But no, he's dead, along with the greatest Renekton in the world. At least bottom isn't messing up as bad as top is. 
I get my wraiths because I have the power to just clear them quickly and go back anyways, and I just want to set them back on the timer. And look, this is where the, the Oriana makes a mistake. She's low on mana, and I have enough damage to murder her. So I'm just gonna whittle her down. And check out how I do this combo. Poke, ultimate, slab. There you go. Pretty sure she was waiting for me just to immediately ult on top of her, or throw my flag and Q in and try to knock her up. Uh, so she can flash. But no, I predicted that. So I was gonna get a free hit with my Q and then use my ultimate. My ultimate does... I mean, Jarvan's ultimate does pretty good damage. People underestimate how much damage it actually does. So it was enough to kill uh, an overzealous uh, Rihanna. Anyways, this basically means it's a, another free dragon for us. And basically no contest. I didn't have to use smite. This video is so far pretty long. And there's really nothing much going to happen for a little while. Except, you know, we get to see Renekton get his ass kicked. Like, if anything was new. Anyways, I'm going to buy myself a giant's belt. And I'm going to buy myself some magic res Well, I'm building a Sunfire Cape. I'm going to buy magic resistance afterwards. I am building myself tanky. HP plus resistances. The basic stuff. Jarvan does pretty good damage even when built tank and he's got you know CC up the wazoo so he, no he can do any a lot of things in a team fight. Anyways, Renekton is useless and getting killed by KO again. He doesn't realize that he should probably stop going close enough to her at, so she won't Q him. But no, he must get in range for that experience even though the minions are on all the other side and he's just standing behind his way well out of experience range so I don't know what he's planning and no just because I'm here Renekton doesn't mean we can kill this Kale I think you should back off good Renekton you actually listened for once Protect I think I'm going crazy anyways I get my red again because I am not sharing with that Renekton and because uh, I'm like I'm gonna monopolize my things because there's nobody here to share it with my teammates do battle with the enemy la 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 nothing really happens battle Tarek gets killed we shall rest when we are dead. <laughs> Jax is gonna get the kill on the uh, whatever her name is, Ball Girl. I forgot her name. I have no idea, even though my friend plays her all the goddamn time. Oh yeah, Oriana. There we go. I fight with Nocturne. I poke at him. I throw flags. I say Demacia in my head. Jax dies, and I am all alone. Forever alone. See, this is the sad part when it reaches to this point of the video where really nothing interesting happens. I don't know what to say. And I really can't fast forward it because, I mean, you get, can't get to, If I fast forward it, you won't see this Renekton fail. Look what he's doing. Um, uh, whatever the hell he's planning on doing, he's just going to get himself killed again. Anyways, I arrive in time just to save the tower. Or force a mech. And I'm hoping that Renekton goes to heal or buys more resistances or just stops dying. Best fucking Renekton ever. He's dead. Of course, I didn't arrive in time to save him, and I'm gonna do battle with Kale now. But now watch this. When Kale uses her ultimate, I just stop attacking. Just in case I don't want to waste my passive damage. I want to kill her. I save my abilities and everything just after the ultimate. I just hold out. And I easily annihilate her. Now I, I am the highest level in the game. I have the most gold. And almost dead. Ganked by Leona. I survive, and etc. 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 Easy see. Anyways, I get my golems and I head home. I am going to buy more resistances. I'm aiming to build um, uh, Ages of the Legion. I finished Sunfire Cape by. Uh, the a component for the ages and head off my merry way to get my blue again because I am not gonna share anything with anybody because there's really nobody to share with Let's see
Number one Renekton. Dude, Look at him. He's about to get butchered face. once more. Right now, he is literally 0, 6, and I think 1. Probably because, you know, he probably scratched at somebody and if somebody else did all the heavy lifting. Top is in dire need of help. Bottom is handling itself, and I decide, you know what? Top is doomed. I'm just gonna walk away and push the other lanes. Morgana can hold off all three of them by herself for a very limited amount of time. So I'll use this time to pressure the other lanes and probably slap Udra around with my teammate tracks. Mid is getting pushed as well. Morgana signals us that she's having issues holding off. So, I check their red, die. it's gone, I check their rates, and they're pretty much, uh, they're, they're there, I'm just gonna take them from him, easily with, uh, Jarvan. I find the Orianna right here, well, to the left. Nocturne mid, top, that means there's two of them, and Renekton, once more, tries to be a badass, but fails. I go up there and hoping to at least, you know, get a kill or help our teammates get a kill. And I am amazed and holy crap, our Renekton gets his first kill. It's probably a steal, but you know, if I said, Renekton, you're just a kill silly motherfucker, then he'd probably get mad and rage quit. But would we have really lost anything if he had rage quit? Probably, he serves as a distraction, so might as well keep him. Anyways, I'll use this time to talk about some random topic that some people have been asking. Stonewall, why don't you do Twisted Tree Line jungling? Because honestly, I don't like Twisted Tree Line and the jungling there is not is even less static than it is here. It's kind of sporadic. You gain level 1 team fight and you come out winning, it changes what you do. You come out losing, it changes what you do. Nothing happens, it still changes what you do. Your teammates are different, it changes what you do. It's too sporadic to make any given set for it. So, like, you should no probably just stop asking me for Twisted Tree Line things. You, uh, all you need to know is you have a dedic- uh, Some of the best teams have a dedicated jungler in Twisted Tree Line. And that's about it. They do, like, they Who improvise their routes. They will. do random things. They're forced to fight every almost every two minutes or something. So they really can't, you know. They can't really have a set path. They can't really have a set build or anything. Me, it's just random. And, and that's just about it. I'm not going to do a Twisted Tree Line uh, video set for that very reason. However, though, once they come out with Magma Chamber, Find if they come out with Magma Force. Chamber, I'll do uh, like a Splilunking series or something. Anyways, here comes our first actual team fight. We catch them off. I jump on the tail and I wait because she used her ult again once more for my abilities to come back up, pull down, and just to finish her off. Arteric is a beast with his AP. He's gonna get himself a triple kill, annihilating everybody, and thanks to his heals and his ultimate, we come off healthy, we come off, you know, really strong. Tarek and a team up, uh, in a lineup like ours is really strong. You have three champions that are good with AD. And he's just basically giving us free stats and healing himself. And he's doing, since he's AP, he's doing pretty good damage. I personally go AP Tarek as well. Anyways, this is free, um, yeah, uh, our third free dragon. Eh? Third, just free dragon. Anyways, AP Tarek is good in my opinion. Not, the issue though is he's not good enough to give a solo lane to. Not good enough to give a solo lane to. Since he doesn't do as much damage as a traditional caster and doesn't Today have any finishing moves or an die. actual ultimate. And you can't get all the gold you need when you're side lane. So as a, when I play AP Tech, I tend to be a Roman. That's how I'll get my gold, by we killing or stealing it dead. from other people. Yeah. Oh. You can't really argue with the results you get from that. And we once more grab my red. We have dragon. We are ahead by a ton. Now and I have yet to die. And at least we got things back on track. Even the fail Renekton can probably can't possibly screw it over. I finish my Ages of the Legion, and I can't decide what to buy next. So, and I need to ward Baron, so I just get a lantern. I'm like, eh, might as well. 
in my opinion, my build is complete. In normal circumstances, I would just be buying uh, elixirs to make up for what I have. Anyways, the world's best Renekton is gets butchered, and the world's best Karak makes it out alive. I come up just in time to realize that Jax is the one getting chased, and we save his life. But then I decide to throw my life away and join and jump in the middle of all of them. However, though my handsome teammates, they decided Scarbin is a badass. We should keep him alive. They died in my stand. But because I love him so much, I decided that my life is most valuable as theirs. Also, thus I must throw it away as well. We lose mid, and soon I'm gonna throw my life away. Because that is what badass is do. Yeah, that one was Morgana using her ultimate to kill Nocturne. Was it worth it? She got buffed, so I guess. Anyways, the world's best Renekton is building god knows what. He's building spirit visage and tanky things. Like, because, you know, we totally have a lot of damage if we all go tanky. We're lucky that, you know, the enemy team is kind of building no armor and we are just steamrolling them because of that. If they had built any armor early, then our damage would just be lacking. Versus we just wouldn't be able to annihilate them. Protect the faithful. Anyhow, Ages of the Legion. Uh, I should speak about it. I buy it on a lot of champions. Udyr, uh, Jin Zhao. It's a very strong item. It gives you a lot of good stats. You know, tank stats across the board, a good amount of it for a good amount of gold, and it gives you some damage, so you aren't completely missing out if you're, you know, Find supposed to deal damage. Foes. It's it's kind of a good thing if you know it's like it's a good item to get early because the components are really great for laning. Components are really great for the early mid game. And it become and ages also we benefits your team. So I wonder dead. why more people just don't buy it, even if you know, even if they're not the actual tank. Like, I've seen, you know, Shans and stuff like that, they skip Aegis, and, you know, why having one is a good thing for your team, die. so why, why not just buy it? <sighs> Once more, nothing happens, our team is a little bit scattered, we're trying to look for a fight. Now we're like, hey guys, forever. meet us up here. Anyways, if you just noticed that, there was a ward where Tarek is standing. So, they... They probably think we're over here, so it's gonna face check, which proves to be a mistake. We get to initiate on the entire team. I pin them all down in a good spot. Morgana uses her ultimate, and I keep them in there for a while. We pick up some good kills. Renekton steals another. We lose our jacks. Yeah, we come off positive in this one. Four to two. I mean, we four of us are alive. Three of those are alive. We get to push and we get to scour uh, the remains of their jungle and push the lanes. But I guess we're not going to do that because, you know, the world's best Renekton needs to go back and heal. Okay, so I push bottom lane, flash still up, my stuff is still up, I'm pretty much at full health, pretty much, not completely. The enemy team is about to respawn, so I really can't accomplish anything here. Kale's like, hey yo, I'm gonna do lots of damage to you, but no, I'm Jarvan. I just walk away. Mid lane, nothing will. happening. Nothing happening. This Wraith, hey. And I fail my Q, and I steal like what? One? Yeah, I steal one Wraith. No quarter, that was a no great freak game, I think. Yeah. What the hell to talk about right now when nothing is happening? Oh yeah, we should probably do Baron. Find me Look, greater foes. We don't have everybody here, so I usually tell my team, probably not a good idea to do Baron. They don't have it warded, so Ooh, your face checks us and gets pretty much destroyed. He's not gonna die because we don't have the damage and my ult is practically wasted. But we know they don't have it warded since that Uji just face check. And this kind of just forces a team fight. When my ultimate is down and we're a little scared, we're, not, we're shattered. And. And like. I'm surprised we even wanted, to be honest. 
nobody's focusing on anything. We're just kind of just fighting the first thing that steps into us. Nocturne dives us for some reason and just gets destroyed. Leonas dies and Ball Girl is running around. Anyways, we come out positive regardless of the Terry being dead. We're low on health, but you know Jarvan is a very strong uh, anti-Baron champion. Jax is a very strong anti-Baron champion. Renekton with his ultimate is a strong Baron champion. Regardless of the point, we're, we're getting this Baron pretty easy. I, I have my smite just in case they try to do anything, but I doubt they would. And so thus, we get the first Baron of the game. We have every dragon so far, and we have every Baron so far, even if it's just one. We're gonna go for dragon right now. It's pretty much free, there's really nothing they can do. I mean, the Udra's gonna run off scared. Look at him run. We shall rest with you know, I don't understand. Yes, yeah, solo lane, I mean, solo lane Udi are strong, but double lane Udi is pretty weak. I don't know why they thought that would work. Perhaps it was like the Renekton who told us Stand to go fuck me, ourselves. Probably his teammate said, you know what, you belong in the jungle, go fuck yourself. Anyways, free dragon. Again, not contested at all. It's, it's ours. Damasia, now and forever. Alright. So, the my dream catch Udyr I had there. And it looks like another team fight about to break out. Yeah, that was a lag strike right there, thanks to the traps. It was just scattered because I can't see anything, I just wait for my cooldowns to restore. And we just kind of cut them in a circle. They're taking three damage from our ultimate and from Tarek and myself and smacking them. Anyways, they use all the flashes and knock the sides to go through my ultimate. And if Nocturne didn't pass to my ultimate, it would have caught both him and Leon. It would have been a stronghold. Otherwise, it, right now, it's kind of wasted. That team fight was kind of just a moot one. It was like, I don't know Fighting why they thought they could engage folks. us. We have Baron, we're together, we have our ultimates. They died. Anyways, free tower, we're gonna push them mid. I love a challenge. Like, we're just gonna tank it. We're like, you know what, we don't care. They get too close to us, and thus we just spring at them. Yep. Well, this game is basically ours. We we only had a couple team fights, but we kind of just proved that the enemy team is kind of clueless of what to do, or you know, buy armor. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. So we're just gonna push everything else down. We still have about half our time on Baron. Uh, bottom lane is ours. My team decides to fight middle without me, and they still win regardless. I think it is go pew pew. Yeah, that's really bad for them. So they're gonna surrender, and the game is pretty much over. Um, I don't know. Hopefully you learned something in the very beginning, like do not use all your abilities right off the bat when you gank, and stop blaming me for failing your lane. Good night. Victory!